Hello, Stuart here at HobbyKing.com, here with a daily on another V2. Now, this that you see in front of us is our very well-known and popular ASW28. Uh, it's been around for a while now, and it's, uh, as you know, or may not know, I'll tell you anyway, it's a blow-molded uh, fuselage and EPO-molded uh, surfaces, so in this case, uh, wing surfaces and tail surfaces. Now, this is the V2 version. Uh, how is it different from the V1? Well, I will tell you. Uh, first of all, it has uh, two spars in each wing. It's a, uh, a, an additional benefit there. The V1, you may have noticed it flapped just a little bit under load, and what they've done is got rid of that now to some extent with additional spar. Also, for securing the wing, there is now a new uh, plastic locking mechanism. If I turn it over, you will see uh, that it's basically a pressure uh, locking system on the wing. So what that means is you can just slide the wing in and out with just the push or squeeze of your finger and thumb. Actually, also, whilst I've got it underneath, one of the other nice features you'll see is the uh, belly wheel uh, now pre-installed in the model. Now, as I've got the model in front of me, I'm going to go around and show you the underside again. This is as per the original V1. Four servos in the uh, in the wing, flaps and ailerons, and then you've got two in the tower, one at the T tower that is, uh, one for the rudder and one for the elevator. As you can see, you can mind the wings it there. Lots of uh, additional uh, reinforcing carbon fiber and plywood spars. All exactly what you're looking for on a electric sailplane such as this. And it is a sailplane. Let's not get away from that. Um, and what that means is, especially nowadays with FPV, it's actually a very good FPV rig. I know the good guys out of the UK warehouse have a bunch of these, and they're actually on an airfield. That's where the warehouse is. So most lunch times they take their uh, uh, AS28 out with an FPV module on here. I say module, they've just mounted either a pan and tilt or they're FPVing through a GoPro and they have a stack of fun uh, with this up in the clouds over that private airfield. So if you're looking for uh, an alternative FPV rig, something a little bit different and not so obvious, the ASW28 is a good candidate for that. Long flight times, flies very, very well, good power from the stock uh, set up and uh, you won't be left wanting for anything more really. Now whilst we're talking about setup, it is the same uh, brushless uh, outrunner. That is a 4018 850 kV brushless outrunner pre-installed and that comes with a 30 amp speed controller. The canopy attachment is still the same as before with those uh, little pressure nuts if you like. And if you look inside there you'll see lots of pre-installed plywood for both reinforcement and for installation of your receiver and your battery. There's all the uh, server leases you would expect, and of course that 30 amp speed controller comes with an XD60, of course, pre-installed. Now you see there is a lot of room in there. It is designed primarily for any, actually, uh, quite a small battery considering the size of the model. It's a recommended 1500 milliamp hour. In fact, you of course could run a 2200 milliamp hour three cell in there very, very easily. Uh, it will take the uh, the extra loading with this generous wingspan, so wing loading uh, will not be a problem. And with that extra capacity you can run that additional FPV system I mentioned which is a lot of fun with this model. So there it is, that is the uh, new Hobby King ASW28 V2. It's a 2.5 meter so well over 80 inch span uh, electric sailplane. It's on the new items page now and under the glider category of hobbyking.com. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel here and click below this video for a link directly to this product and I'll see you for the next plane daily very soon on hobbyking.com. So